I'll get to it, Adam. I've got stuff to do on Roy's case that I need to get in today, so... We need to get both in today. Well, as Alia said, if she's coming back or not. No, but she will. She's just dragging her feet so she gets a better deal. She loves being centre of attention. We need someone. You texting Alia? Uh, no, Joel. He's meeting his daughter for the first time today. He's nervous. You two back together? No. You know, I'm just being a spotted friend. You're being a sap. Knock it off, all right? You know, he's really sorry about lying before, and I'm not saying he deserves a second chance, but I can support him through this. Hey, I'm just looking out for you, OK? I know. Thanks. Don't put yourself in a position where you can get hurt. Yeah, well, you've been pretty closed off and cynical since you broke up with Sarah, so I'm not sure I want to follow your example. Closed off and cynical? I think that's a bit unfair, don't you? Well, the legal services. Who's that? Uh, wrong number. Legals. Right, you need to stop this, okay? Hey. Hiya, Joel. You all right? <clears throat> oh, yeah, irritated client. Not what I can't handle. But still, you okay? Pra, and there's me thinking out an impenetrable poker face. I'm still nervous about meeting Maeve. I'm more nervous than my first time at the Court of Appeal. Who was the judge? Lady Justice Vishnu. She mm. tore me to pieces. OK, fair. <laughs> but a little girl won't do that to you. You know, you just got to be yourself. Have you got time for a quick drink to calm my nerves before I go and meet Maeve and Emily? Um, yeah, yeah. I could murder a glass of red. Well, and get done for being drunk and in charge of a minor. <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking. I'm joking. What time do you have to see him? Uh, about five. OK, well, um. Got a couple of jobs to do first, but I can catch up with you in a bit. Okay, cool. I'll see you later. Hey, been waiting in the pub. You didn't come. Sorry, sorry. It's um, it's been hectic here. Let me just finish this, and I'll be right with you. It's all right. I need to go meet him now. It's no time. This is a nightmare. I need Alia. She'll be back. Trust me. She's just preening. Yeah, well, she's very much needed right now, Adam. <coughs> she's just preening. Don't cut it. What is it you're working on? Uh, Roy's bail application. There's this new statement. It could really help his case. That's good. Yeah, I wanted to lodge it today, though, and this flipping things keep popping up. Give me a laptop. Sure. Yeah. Am I right to close your email? Well, I can do that. What the hell is this? No, don't, don't wait, read my wait, emails. Wait. How long have you been receiving death threats? Some of those messages were absolutely vile. It's nothing. It's just a bunch of cowards hiding behind a keyboard. It's Roy. They won, and they can't reach him, so they're coming for me. It's actual death threats, though. We can't just ignore them. I cannot let this distract me from what he's doing, OK? Yeah, Roy's lucky to have you by his side. But if you're not careful, a case like this, it can consume you. A vulnerable person, depending on you, the pressure can be intense. And this lot are making it ten times worse. Right, if I ignore them, Joel, they'll run out of steam. They'll leave me alone. If they keep getting away with it, it's only going to make them bolder. It's going to give them more confidence. Where's it going to end? Look at you. Oh. You're putting on a brave face, but I can see it's getting to you. We've got to put a stop to this. Oh, look, however, it makes me feel. You know, it's nothing. It's nothing. Compared to what Roy is going through right now. What if a friend or a client came to you and showed you something like this? What would you say to them? I'd tell them to go to the police. Exactly. Exactly. So. Are you going to go and stick your head back in the sand or are you going to wise up and take your own advice? 